Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome to Minecraft. I thought I'd give you guys a look at something I'd, I'd been working on on Mongoose Country for a while. And this is basically it. This, it's this huge tower here. Uh, I pretty much did this to a very similar palette and design as one of the towers in Lyridel, and I even named this tower after Lyridel for that very reason. So here we go, we'll go ahead and take a look through this. Uh, you come in, you've got basic entrance hall. Uh, we'll actually go through this room in a second. Just go down a little bit. You've got a little bit of an audience chamber for some kind of music. Got a little piano up right here and so on. Uh, nice little area here. Plenty of fountains in, in this place. You can uh, go in the back to the back door where I've got like all my farms and everything. The reason why these trees look really, really weird is because I ended up harvesting a lot of leaves for the for the roof. So basically this uh, floor is mostly just access to the basement as well as access or as well as storage here for uh, uh, not storage but as well as kind of a little uh, hall there for playing. And uh, in here, sorry I'm experiencing a little bit of lag right now, got a few nice little seating areas, a lot of books surrounded everywhere uh, over here is access to my mine. It goes way down that away. And uh, if we go up a level, there's a whole bunch of, well, there's a creeper in here. But anyways, we've got a nice little balcony here. Got a whole bunch of balcony, balconies everywhere. This is pretty much more seating areas, more books and everything. Uh, access to the backyard again from right here. Uh and the staircase switches to the back and it progresses up along there for most of the way. Uh, up the floor here we have the kitchen. Nice little kitchen here. Plenty of hoods for all the furnaces and everything. And back in over this way is a pantry where I've got plenty of stuff and so on. Let's see. Over here is the dining hall but first I actually do have stuff in this refrigerator like this one's all meat the other one's all bread and apples. This one doesn't actually work, though. But anyways, here's the dining hall. Uh, piston table. Upside down stairs and slabs and everything. A couple little seating areas out front here. Nice little balcony out this way. The back of the, the tower. Up another level, we've got balconies off to either side of the hallway which also gives access to the guest suites, which are pretty much the same. You've got kind of a, a chamber here, a living room. You've got a bedroom over here with a little balcony of its own. Access to a closet, which then has access to the bathroom. And both suites on this floor share a bathroom with uh, dual vanities. Got a mirror here, bathtub. They each have their own toilets. Let's get back out of uh, here. Pretty much both suites are, are carbon copies of each other, just kind of flipped a little. Up a level is my suite, the master suite. Uh, in here you've got living room, you've got the bathroom here with a zombie in here. Thank you for leaving my bathroom. Uh, nice little tub there, dual vanities, toilet, closet. Over here is the bedroom, which has a neat little fireplace here. and. This guy is apparently following me around. I guess he, he really wants to go on this tour 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 too. Yeah. And we've got a larger balcony out here on the front of the building. Okay, over this way is my study. And uh, hidden behind this painting is kind of a private access stairwell. It goes all the way up to the library. There's no need to go up that way though because there's still a floor between this one and the library. Let's see, up a level are the guest rooms, not suites, but just individual rooms. Got a little seating area in front here. They all have only one bathroom. It's kind of smaller, so there's a shower instead of a bathtub and a single vanity. And pretty much all the rooms are the same. We've got bookcases, desk, and bed and chest. Pretty much all the same. Now, the reason why they're shaped kind of oddly is because on the other side of this wall here is where that staircase is, and there's no access to either of those rooms from there. However, 
in order to keep everything the same, I built in a hidden storage room right here, between these two bedrooms, hidden behind uh, paintings over doors. So we go up another level, and we're at the start of the library. And like I said, there are quite a number of uh, balconies all over the place. This is actually the largest balcony here. Three different doorways to it. This one goes over where the staircase comes up. I guess he's reading a lot. I've got a lot of uh, zombies in my tower. But anyways, plenty of books and everything. And the uh, private staircase comes here. There should be a painting over this door, but I guess it, it got knocked off or something. So we've got plenty of books and everything. Hey, you need to move because I can't. There we go. Thank you. And over this way is where I have my enchanting table with the doorway that is hidden when you try to leave. It's kind of interesting there. But basically, this is my enchanting room. I believe it, you can't quite get the maximum, but pretty close to it. There we go. Okay, back around front and up the staircase to the second level of the library, the main library. Now this one's kind of large. And there's a reason for that. I mean, you've got all the books down here, but you go up and to the right of the staircase, and you've got more books here. But if you went to the left, you have a winding staircase all the way around and up to where the crown starts. So basically, it's just one big staircase going all the way up. And we've got designs in the walls, different windows and so on. And you've got a really large, really nice uh, chandelier here hanging from it. And each each corner, each landing is kind of bookended by uh, balconies. So we keep going up and we reach another level of the library. And this is where the crown starts. Now, things switch here to uh, being around a central tower, around a, a central spiral staircase, and it goes up each level. Here is, again, more books, but mostly reading areas. I believe the next level up is actually reading areas and fountains. No, more reading areas and books. I was wrong about fountains. That should be either the next level or the level above that. But this one has uh, balconies, periodic balconies that are uh, framed with leaves. We go up another level and it's back to the windows and we've got plenty of seating along the sides here as well as books. Plenty of books. You can tell I love books, can't you? But anyways, plenty of seating along the sides. And we go up another level. Here's where all the fountains are. So we've got plenty of seating here, plenty of fountains, and plenty of zombies too. But anyways, you can see we have the, the balconies bordered by leaves again, but these ones are a little bit larger. And we go up another level, and yes, here we go. We're pretty much at the top now. So this is basically the final level of the staircase. Uh, you've got four basic bookshelves here, and at the center of each wall is a little spiral staircase going up to the balcony where all the books are. And I'm going to fly real quick, which I can actually do right now because I'm on the builder perms, so that you can see this large chandelier I have hanging from the, the roof here. It's very large and, and well put together, and uh, the roof is pretty much all leaves. So I don't really know what, what more to say than that. I mean, I think it's a, a really nice build. I just went through it really, really quickly. Uh, hopefully, Potato Orgy can get it on Server Saturdays soon. Actually, that, that episode might even be up before I air this. But regardless, you can see the whole thing. The, the entire roof pretty much glows at night. And you can see a few extra little details along the, uh, the crown here. The fact that I put all the, these fences around here as well all these little extra details with all the uh, upside down stairs and, and slabs and everything on all the wood and everything. I just think it looks really, really nice. And this, unfortunately, is probably going to be the last project I build on Mongoose Country. 
Uh, I probably won't do too much more on there. I'll still uh, play on there. I'll still hang out with people, but I probably won't be doing too much more there because uh, Celestial Dreams is taking up a lot of my Minecraft time as well as my other build, uh, White Tower, which is on a private uh, server being run based off or uh, being run straight off of my machine for uh, security reasons and because it's it's easier for me that way and so basically this is pretty much it so I'll s this is my last pretty much my last swan song for uh, mongoose country so I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching please remember to comment rate and subscribe